Hey everyone, welcome back to Nerd Nachos. My name is Justin, and we have a big ol' episode today, so let's get started. Oh, it's not some geeky tacos or dorky queso blanco. It's Nerd Nachos! If you're a nerd like me, you love crossovers. So today, we're combining two of our favorite things, Lord of the Rings with the Avengers. Now this is just the first in a longer series that I'm planning on doing, combining the Fellowship with the Avengers. Uh, but for today, I just really wanted to start with my favorite Marvel character, Spider-Man, uh, and combine him with a member of the Fellowship. The only real option, in my opinion, was Frodo. Um, now, to be fair, I did combine, mix and match all kinds of different combinations <laughs> between the Fellowship and the Avengers, and you'll see more of them as the series continues. Um, I'm interested in hearing what you think the best combinations might be, but for today, I introduce you to Petro Pagans. Petro Pagans grew up in the peaceful village of New Yorkshire. Losing his parents from a young age, Petro was raised by his kind uncle Benbo. Benbo, unlike most hobbits, lived a life full of wonder and excitement, only settling down when his young nephew needed a guardian. Petro avidly listened to his uncle's stories time and again, growing more and more anxious to have adventures of his own. When Petro was a young man, word had spread around the village that a ferocious beast was terrorizing farmers nearby. Petro decided that this was his chance to create a heroic story just like his uncle's. Late that night, with nothing but a lantern and a sharp stick, Petro snuck out heading for the forest where the beast was said to lurk. Petro searched for hours, but ultimately found himself lost. It was then that the great beast showed itself. Silently lowering down from a large tree, the giant spider Shiloblin pounced on top of Petro. The young hobbit screamed, but it was too late. Shiloblin stuck him with her giant stinger. Petro felt venom surge through his body and paralyze him. Quickly, he was wrapped up in Shiloblin's incredibly strong webs and hung upside down. Stuck there, Petro's body was feeling different. This venom was changing him somehow. But he wouldn't have time to figure that out. He could see Shiloblin hungrily approaching him. Just then, he saw a glowing sword creeping up from behind her. Petro recognized it from many of his uncle's stories. Benbo found this elven short sword named Sting. It had some sort of danger sense, some magical ability to detect enemies, and when it did, it glowed blue, just like right now. Sting plunged itself into Shiloblin's back, and she squealed in pain, turning over and swiping wildly behind her. The sword was tossed away, but Shiloblin seemed fixed on something else, something unseen. Petro felt a surge of energy. This venom had definitely changed him. He burst out of the webbing and leapt into battle, instinctively stretching his arm for the sword as he did. Shooting from his wrist, webbing just like the spiders, latched onto the sword and pulled it toward him. Petro turned and swiftly landed the killing blow on Shiloblin. As the dust settled, Shiloblin lay dead, but Petro heard a voice call to him from beneath her. Pushing the great spider aside, he found his uncle Benbo, bloodied and dying. Shiloblin had pierced through him with her sharp feet. Petro fell to his knees, tears running down his cheeks, understanding what had happened. His uncle had come after him, somehow invisible to the eye. His uncle had saved him and now lay dying. Petro had been a fool to pursue such a monster on his own. A lesson gravely learned. Benbo took Petro's hand and simply whispered, With great adventure there must also come great responsibility. Petro felt something in his uncle's cold grasp. A ring, shining and warm. Petro took it and asked, What is this, uncle? But Benbo was already dead. Petro inherited his uncle's possessions, including the sword, sting, and this peculiar magical ring. 
He also kept these newfound web-slinging and wall-crawling abilities. Eager for adventure, Petro even created himself a heroic costume. But, heeding his uncle's last words, stayed put instead. Nevertheless, adventure soon came knocking. One fateful night, Petro opened the door to reveal an old wizard. My name is Gandalf the Strange, he said. And I'm here to talk to you about the fraternal elven lifelong order working as saviors, heroes, and infinite protectors. But you can call us Fellowship. And there we have it. Petro Pagans. I don't have a cool I don't have a cool hero name for him in this world. I don't know. Frodo doesn't have a hero name. I I don't know. Do we need hero names? If you come up with a cool hero name for Petro Pagans, let me know. I mean like the, just like the spider. I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. The coolest one wins. Um now this is not the end of this story, of course. It will continue and we will see what is up with Gandalf the Strange uh, in the next episode. So make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell. That's important. If you don't ring the bell, you don't actually get notifications on when the next video is. So ring that little, that little bell icon. Like, is it down there? It's down there. No, it's down. You'll find it. It's a bell. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me that little thumbs up sign down there uh, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay cheesy.